Okay, this is a uh, contra belt, hand stamped contra belt. We got it in from a collection. It's from the 1960s. If you look close at this, every concho is different, but it is really clean work. Uh, I can't see much wear on it. It's uh, very well taken care of. I doubt it was worn very much at all. But you can see that every concho is different on this piece, um, which is kind of a unique uh, situation because the silversmith, it, when you're silversmithing, if you get used to something, if you get used to doing the same thing time after time, then it becomes second nature. But when you have to do each piece individually, it takes more time, more concentration, takes a better artist. And that's what we have here. You can see it's heavy silver, nice heavy silver. These days, uh, contra belts are being made. They're making them out of tin foil. They're really light. They're not very heavy. They don't they won't stand up to the wear and tear. You need to be able to, to, to stand up to pressure on these things or uh, they, they can't bend on you. And these, this is well made. You can see the bump outs, like I said, are really clean. There's no, they're no, not worn through. You have to watch that on a, on a concho belt. Make sure they're not, when they damp them, when they dap them out, that they're not worn and you can't see through them. This is beautifully made belt. Uh, belt from that time period and it's a real bargain if you look at these things if you were to figure a belt like this in this style you'd be at least three hundred dollars a buckle and when you count these up through one two three four five six seven eight nine of those I mean 1950s a real bargain on this so very well made beautiful 1960s concha belt